Okay, this tutorial is to explain how lists, also known as drop down boxes, work within Home Inspector Pro. Uh, first, we're just going to open up a section here to use as an example, and I'm going to choose to use bathrooms just because some inspectors use one bathroom page, some use multiple pages, one for each bathroom. Uh, but the, the premise here makes it very cut and dry no matter what section you're using. So I'm going to go to uh, ceilings, which is open here, and I'm going to click on a comment. Let's see, a good one here would be uh, evidence of past leaking was noted. And I want to add a drop down box <clears throat> into this comment so in the future I can always specify which bathroom the problem is in. Problem is in. So I'm going to double click this comment. Right now it's just a simple narrative. And I'm going to say evidence of past leaking was notated in. And if I click on insert lists, this is where we'd insert a drop down box. You'll see we don't have any drop down boxes right now. So I'm going to cancel. We're going to edit lists. We're going to add a new list. And I'm going to call this bathroom locations. That's going to be the name of our list. And I'm, I'm going to add multiple uh, options for our bathroom location. So I'll add master bathroom. I'll add Jack and Jill bathroom. <clears throat> I can add guest bathroom. And I can also come in and add things like uh, downstairs west bathroom. Make, you, make it even more specific. And you can always add more options to this. We can also click options and move them up and down. Uh, another thing that a lot of inspectors will do is add a blank comment in there as well. So if they don't select the drop down box, the default is nothing will show because the default is the first comment. So I'm going to click OK. Now that I've created that list, I'm going to insert it. There's the bathroom locations we created, so I'll click OK. And I'm going to click uh, put a period at the end. And now you'll see in Home Inspector Pro on the left hand side here where our narratives appear, the list name shows up in our double brackets. So evidence of past leaking was notated or was noted in bathroom locations. Now I need to move this comment to black or red and then double click on the comment and then I can select the drop down box and choose the comment I want. So evidence of past leaking was notated in master bathroom or it was notated in the downstairs west bathroom. And then click OK. And what that will do is, now if I double click on this, you'll see it actually replaced the drop down box with the selection we just made, which is the downstairs west bathroom. We click OK. And that's exactly how it's going to show up in the report. And I can redo this multiple times if I needed to. Now it's the guest bathroom and I can select guest bathroom for example and now I have the two comments there or one trick that you can do here is let's add another list and I'll call this bathroom locations with a comma as I can add in multiple lists with a comma space master bathroom comma, space, guest bathroom. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a second list used for having more than one drop down box. Oops, because I didn't put a comma in that one. So I'm going to come back, double click the comment just like you would in the rest of the program, add a comma in there. So now I have my bathroom locations with comma, I have a comma and a space in front of each one. My bathroom locations don't have any. And I also want to add in that blank comment in there. It's really important in this example. And now I'm going to put insert list, bathroom locations with comma. So now I have evidence of past leaking was, not was noted in master bathroom, comma, guest bathroom, or comma, Jack and Jill. Or if it was a problem I saw a lot, I can actually insert another list with a comma. And I could say evidence of past was notated in master, Jack and Jill, and guest, for example, those three. Now, those aren't going to actually appear in the report until I have selected black or red and then double click the comment on the right hand side. So now I could say Jack and Jill and the master. 
if I leave this comment blank, since the default is the first comment in there, that's the blank we added, that's not going to appear on the report. Now if I look at the comment it created, it says Jack and Jill bathroom comma master bathroom. And that's how you do lists in the program. That list we created of bathroom locations will be available anywhere in the program in any section. When you save template, those lists will be saved. If you have any more questions, just email us at help at homeinspectorpro.com or click on the help desk on our website.